God alerts us. Matthew chapter 2, verses 10 to 14. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. When they'd come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they'd opened their treasure, treasures, they present, presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. We see here in, in both these accounts, God warning people through dreams. He's alerting them to certain danger that was about to take place and therefore they could take preventive action. In the case of the, the wise men from Egypt, God said, don't go back to Herod, take a different route and go back home. To Joseph, he said, you know, Herod's going to seek to kill the baby Jesus, so leave this place, leave Bethlehem, head out to Egypt, be there for a while. And God spoke or gave this instruction, gave this alert message, this warning message through dreams. So God can alert us, He can warn us of things that are about to take place, especially about dangers, of things that Satan is trying to do uh, through dreams. And then when we wake up, we recognize that, and then we take action. We pray, uh, we exercise our authority, uh, we rebuke the works of darkness, uh, we, we protect ourselves and so on. Uh, because God has warned us ahead of time that this and this is about to happen, be careful. And so there are times when God alerts us and, and these dreams sometimes uh, may not always uh, be pleasant. You know, can you imagine Joseph waking up and realizing that, hey, the king is after my child of all the hundreds of children or maybe, I don't know, thousands of children in Bethlehem. The king is going to be after my child, so I need to run. Now, that, that could have brought in one sense a sense of fear, but there is also a sense of knowing God is telling me to take action, to protect myself. There's this understanding that there is danger, but it's not a morbid fear. It's not a nightmare. It's not something you wake up, you know, uh, being disturbed. But you wake up knowing that God has alerted you, and therefore you need to take action, protect yourself. And so God alerts us and warns us so that we can protect ourselves. And we need to be open to those kinds of dreams and uh, take action in prayer, exercising authority so that we can protect ourselves. God can speak to us through dreams. And what we've seen this week are the various kinds of messages that God gives to us through dreams to bless our lives, to protect our lives, to cause us to advance. We need to be open, receive dreams, record them, understand them, and act on them. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will open our they open up this whole realm of dreams for us that, and warn us, alert us, so that we can take prote uh, preventive or protective action measures. We open up our lives to you and you speak to us through dreams. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.